For many centuries, the information within this key has remained hidden and oblivious to all that gazed upon it. The importance of the artefact was seen as merely in its origin and beauty. It is an exquisite piece that sits in the Louvre, photographed and gazed upon by thousands of people every day, but all unaware to the treasures locked within it, awaiting a time to be discovered. This artefact I speak of is called the Pendant of Osiris, Horus and Isis, and bears the name of King Ozorkon II. However, the place of its origin is not known, other than it is equated to the 22nd dynasty. This pendant, as it is known, stands 6.9 inches high and is made of gold and lapis lazuli. On the bottom of the artefact, the inscription reads, The king of Upper and Lower Egypt, the master of the two lands, Usa Mate, the chosen of Amun, the son of Ra, the lord of the crowns, Ozorkon, beloved of Amun, I grant you the years of Atum, like Ra. I grant you encompassing bravery and total victory. I give you countless jubilees. Thus speaks Osiris, Wenifer. Crouched upon the pillar of Lapis Lazuli is Osiris, who represents our creator, Orion. And it is within this pillar and Osiris we can find our first gems of encoded information. However, this information was revealed only when another researcher saw the sacred geometry within this art piece. When the golden mean spiral was placed over the artifact, matching it up to the golden mean section located at the third eye, the sacred geometry number codes and other knowledge cleverly encoded within the artifact were revealed. The golden mean is a ratio measurement based on the Fibonacci sequence, which is the number code for all creation. Everything that is created and expands forth from zero point does so using the Fibonacci sequence. And so it is now clear that this ratio based upon the Fibonacci sequence was also known to the ancient Egyptians who understood that the creation of man, both the physical and ethereal, follows these golden rules of creation also. If we return back to the pillar that holds Osiris, we will see that the feet of Osiris meet the top of the podium. However, the spiral begins at his left side. This is connected to the soul birthed from the consciousness of the Creator to be seeded through the sun Horus and birthed onto the physical plane through the creational forces of the moon Isis. We can also see a connection to the left side of God and the seeding of souls with the Archangel Gabriel, who is said to sit on the left side of God. According to Jewish mythology, in the Garden of Eden, there is a tree of life or a tree of souls that blossoms and produces new souls which fall into the guff, the treasury of souls. Gabriel reaches into the treasury and takes out the first soul that comes into his hand. Then Layla, the angel of conception, watches over the embryo until it is born. The spiral then meets at the point where Osiris and the podium are connected. We see the golden mean section at this point is also connected to the navel on Isis. This is symbolic of God and the part of the divine within each soul being brought down onto the material plane through the navel chakra. Isis is symbolic for not only the creational forces of the moon, but also the divine female twin soul. Below the navel chakra, we have the lower two foundational energy points of the sacrum and the root. As mentioned in previous videos, the ancient Egyptians showed the primary root chakra above the ankle. Note that each of these chakras are also perfectly positioned on top of the two equating symbols etched into the lapis lazuli. Next we see that the heart chakra and navel are connected through a section shown on the golden mean. This is why the navel is also known as the solar plexus, because it is also connected to the heart. And as we can see, the heart is directly connected to Horus, who is also symbolic for the sun and the divine male twin soul. Above the heart, 
The golden mean section also meets at the third eye of Osiris with the crown chakra sitting above his head. So the golden mean spiral placed over this artifact has now revealed the placement and interrelated energies that connect our energy centers within our ethereal body. However, as mentioned earlier, the golden mean is based on the Fibonacci sequence and it is here we will find the sacred numbers that have been locked within this artifact awaiting to be discovered. With the Fibonacci sequence, we can assign each energy point or chakra their correlating numbers. So we begin with the navel where we see the number 0 plus 1 plus 1 are contained within the first golden mean section related to the navel chakra. This is symbolic for the creation of the souls from God consciousness represented as zero. And the golden mean begins at this chakra because we are manifest into our physical form at this energy point. We then move on to the next golden mean section and this equates to the heart chakra and is connected to the number eight on the golden mean section and Fibonacci sequence. However, we can also find other numbers encoded within each of these energy points by adding the sum of all the previous numbers in the sequence together. When we do this at this point in the sequence, we now have the number 20 also relating to the heart chakra. The next golden mean section is at the third eye and crown chakra, and this equates to 13 on the golden mean section and Fibonacci sequence. And if we again add the sum of all the previous numbers in the sequence to this point, we get 33. So now we have both 13 and 33 encoded into the third eye and crown chakra. And when you look to the Freemasons most revered symbol, it seems that this organization is also clearly aware of this connection to 33 and the crown chakra. It is also now obvious that the Freemasons knowledge is sourced directly from ancient Egypt. We continue around to the navel chakra once again. However, this section of the golden mean equates to the solar plexus aspect of the navel chakra. The number 21 corresponds to this section of the golden mean. And if we deduce 21, we get the number three. And if we add the sum of all the previous numbers to this point, we get 54. And again, if we deduce 54, we now have the divine number of nine. Finally, the last section encompasses the root and sacrum chakra and is located at number 34 on the golden mean section and Fibonacci sequence. And if we deduce three and four, we get seven. Once again, if we add the sum of all the previous numbers to this point, we now have the number 88. And when we deduce 88, we again have the number 7. We can now clearly see the ancient Egyptians have depicted the seven gates from the root chakra through to the third eye and God consciousness at the crown. And this is also clearly represented in this verse from Matthew 7.14. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. You have now seen revealed before you the hidden key that has remained locked within this artifact, awaiting to be discovered at the right time. That time is now, as we move towards the end of this cycle, when all that was once hidden begins again to be revealed to us. What has been uncovered here, locked into the code within this pendant is the secret of who you really are, an immortal ethereal soul. Your physical container is but only a way you experience the material plane, because in truth you are a powerful and divine being of light. The ancient Egyptians knew this, and as you can see from the research and information I have compiled in the previous videos using this key, this knowledge was also known by the religious establishment and other cultures and is also encoded within all their mythology and scripture. Not to mention the other secret organizations that also have this knowledge within their possession. The knowledge and wisdom we have now gained has given us a full understanding of thyself 
and now before us is revealed the inner kingdom that has remained elusive to us. However, my role here has been to merely return to you what was once yours. In sharing this knowledge, my only hope is that you have now gained an understanding to the truth of how powerful you really are. Proverbs 18.15 The heart of the prudent gets knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeks knowledge.